Today we're in beautiful Kachang. The wind is about to come up and we're here with the starboard wingboard and the starboard Airrush free wing Air V2. So to get started we're going to unpack the Air V2. Before we inflate it it's really important we unroll the wing. This is so the bladder inside doesn't crease. So the free wing has two bladders, one on the leading edge and one in the middle of the strut. So the bladders are what keeps the air in place and this is actually two separate chambers that's joined by a tube. So now that it's unrolled, we can inflate it. So over here you'll see there's two different valves. There's the leading edge valve and the middle strut valve. So really important to close this one up first before you inflate, otherwise the air will just keep coming through. There's a little Velcro thing here to secure it. So then this one you need to screw in the base first. And then we're going to inflate in the top here. Now really important, with these wings, each wing has a different PSI that you need to inflate it to. Larger wings have a lower PSI. Smaller wings, like this 5 meter, have a PSI of around 5. It's indicated on the leading edge strut here, maximum 5 psi. So now we'll start to hear a hissing noise. Basically the leading edge air is channeling into the centre strut um, chamber. So we may have to be patient here, just kind of let it flow in. Right now we're about 3 psi, and there, that's 4 psi. So you just screw on that, screw this cap back on, and then there's a little velcro thing to protect any water and anything coming in in case something gets loose, and there's your wing. So now we want to pack the free wing back up. We're just going to let it air out a little bit, let it to dry. Then we can undo the main chamber nozzle, so then the whole thing will uh, evacuate the air. You can also let the centre struts air out as well. So again, the, these free wings have two separate chambers inside. It's kind of like a bladder. And it's really important that we don't want to shift it around too much. So it's, it's really good if we don't hang the the wing up when it's deflated because the bladder tends to move and you really want to avoid any kind of creasing in the bladder um, inside because that, that causes it to burst and things like that. So the best thing to do here is just to slowly push the air out and try to keep everything still in line so we have kind of most of the air out. So now we're going to roll it. So we're going to roll the two sides in and it's really important if you have larger wings that the 6 meter, the 7 meter and the 8 meter they have a separate window. So you don't want to crease the window or fold on the window but it's okay to roll the wing over that window area. We'll start by rolling out from here and see how I'm not rolling too tight. If you roll too tight, you risk twisting the bladder inside. Going to roll one side each. Ideally, you wouldn't do this on the sand because uh, your wing gets pretty sandy otherwise. So there's that. And then we're going to kind of fold it in the middle of the wing, just like that. So that's basically how to fold your wing. Now, to take better care of it, you want to make sure it's dry before you fold it. So I recommend deflating it and leaving it in the sun for a good 10 minutes, 20 minutes, just so that all the moisture is out of it and preferably brush the sand off it before you fold it. But basically, this is going to be the best uh, way to keep your wing in good condition over, over its lifetime.